What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back. I just got home and I have been excited ever since I saw the tweet from Adam Fletcher about the hotfix that is currently rolled out for players. This was a while ago at 136. I just got home, man. Stream is live here on YouTube so and Twitch for that matter. And we're going to go over all the things. I even responded here. Big like there, which is great. So uh, let's talk about the hotfix changes and then the new... Uh, March of the Goblins event that's going to be coming soon. So I know this is probably already out there for a lot of people that have already seen it, but because we are a Diablo channel, we're going to cover everything anyways. So let's go over the hotfix today. So a lot of bug issues have been happening since the start of the season and then the patch update that we just got, okay? Namely with a few of these things. So let's go over all of them because this is huge. So they fixed the rapid fire on Scoundrel's Kiss. The arrows were going everywhere. That's fixed. Fix an issue where people, especially on console, were having issues with master working being reset. So now all of that should be fixed. Fixed an issue where Boulder and Hurricane with Dolman Stone equipped did not behave appropriately. We're going to talk about this in an, in an additional clip that I am going to tag the devs in because the short version is is that apparently this is this still works with stuff like suppression and Waller. And the boulders still continue to go through. And I guess people were complaining that it got destroyed. Which is funny because I remember being a Sork main. That when I run ball lightning. Suppression as well as walls and debris blow up all my ball lightning. So if boulders can continue to go through that stuff. I'm pretty sure ball lightning should too. But we're going to get into that in another clip. Various performance issues, which are going to be good. Hopefully, this fixes stuff like when you teleport out of a dungeon and reset, it closes your portal. So, hopefully, it'll fix stuff like that. Um, now, this is the big one. This is the big one right here that we have been talking about a lot on this channel with particularly Sork. Fix an issue where various damage multipliers, such as damage to vulnerable, were not working at full strength against bosses. So, for everybody who was just in chat, how you guys saw me absolutely destroy that pit boss... That's how vulnerable damage should have been multiplicatively working. So there's a big baseline damage, which apparently was was wrong. Uh, so there's a big buff to the Barbarian for this. Necromancer with Cold Skeletons on the Sacrifice. And then Sork is the biggest benefit beneficiary out of all this. Because since the start of the season, Frigid Fate was not working correctly. Storm Swell was giving us about half, so 30% max. We were getting about 15%. And more importantly, Storm Swell as well as Shredding Blades was not working. But it was additive damage and not multiplicative damage. So now this should be working correctly. We're going to be testing all this tonight. Glinting Bolt and then Enhanced Firewall. So huge, 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 huge buff for the Sork. I just want to showcase just something because I got a message here because I was asking part of my community, which is fantastic. Like, hey... If you guys could test out the sort previously, because we were only getting like maybe a million and then like do like post post buff. And here goes Vern right here. Let me blow this up. This is Vern right here. He has a video where he's hitting for, uh, can I blow this up? Can I blow this up? Oh, I can't blow this up, but um, let me save image. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let me save image going here. Maybe, maybe we can blow this up because, uh, Screen screenshots. Okay, whatever. Screenshots. No, 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 no. Uh what the heck? Streams is this just not working? Screenshots. There we go. Uh nope, that's not it. Did it not save? God dang it. Save image. Oh, it's in downloads. Crud. Let's go to downloads. Alright. Okay, so you guys can see here, this is the post patch this afternoon where ball lightning is actually hitting for 15 million, 12 million, 14 million, 10 million, 14 million. And this is after all of the nodes as well as the two skills getting fixed. So this is huge. I can tell you that my Sork right now is currently playing ball lightning because that was the last build guide that we did for Sork. And I was barely hitting for 800,000. Like barely critting for eight hundred thousand, I was mainly getting four to five hundred thousand on my ball lightnings. So to see these numbers in full effect is amazing. Now I know that Sork is not going to be super competitive with how strong Barbarian and Necromancer is, 
Um, you know, it even likes like one particular rogue build, but just to see this is just fantastic. So we're going to be doing so much testing tonight. So I wanted to showcase that just real quickly. Um, so this is a huge buff for Sork this season because to be honest, as a Sork main, I enjoyed playing the build and it was fine. We could get up to like tier 80. There was reports of doing a 110 with like ball lightning or like a 104 or something like that. But now we should be able to push a little bit higher. So this is great news. And then of course, Rogue. Malice, Enhanced Dash, and then Fundamental Heart Seeker. So I want to go into Fundamental Heart Seeker really quickly and just see. Uh, you got Fundamental Heart Seeker here. So it has increased critical strike damage or also increases the critical strike damage the enemy takes from us. So apparently maybe this wasn't working correctly, like the crit strike damage along with it being vulnerable. So I'm interested about that. Um, then you have the Enhanced Dash, which wasn't working correctly. So what I'm assuming with that is, is that the crit strike damage was not critting correctly against vulnerable enemies is my best guess. And then the malice change, this one's interesting. It looks like they actually weakened it. So this used to be 12% multiplicative damage. So now they've lessened it, which is kind of a bummer. So now as far as my amulet, I'd rather get ranks and weapon mastery because the bow will do much more damage against vulnerable enemies. So, uh... Yeah, it's kind of a bummer that that got a little bit nerfed, but that's okay. The build is still absolutely insane. And as far as the rogue build, you want attack speed, crit strike, lucky hit chance. This is insane. But uh, let's go ahead and go back to the bug fixes. So very, very happy with this hot fix because now I can actually play Sorceress. Now, on to the March of the Goblins anniversary event. You guys know that June is coming up. We're almost one full year into Diablo 4 which is fantastic. Karma, what's up, everybody? Sean2K, what's up, guys? We're going over this, uh, the the brand new anniversary edition. So uh, this is all coming out to celebrate the one year uh, and the two-year anniversary of Diablo Immortal. We don't have any Diablo Immortal stuff here on the channel, but um, we do have Diablo stuff. So this is going to come March of, An March of the Goblins anniversary celebrations. This is going to come in two parts. We got one part, June 6th to the 13th. Um, and then June 6th to the 12th, claim free gifts in the shop. And then we have Mother's Blessing. So let's scroll down and see. You're gonna, you guys are gonna get some like horses and some cosmetics, which is really cool. All right. And then you'll have until June 20th to claim all of this stuff from June 6th. March of the Goblins, however, there are whispers of increased treasure goblins in the area. They have worked in your fervor because it seems they're hoarding and dropping even more than usual. So from the 6th to the 13th, increased treasure goblin activity will be present in Sanctuary with Herodric scholars foretelling the contents of their greedy filled bags, rumored to be richer than ever. So you get to see this kind of like greater treasure bag, which is really, really cool. A bag packed full of item power, 925 treasure left behind a slain goblin. Really, really interesting. I wonder if we're going to get more than just items, maybe gold, um, mats, etc. So the townsfolk are predicting the goat, the greed shrines will appear with increased frequency, bolstering the riches, which is really nicely. Uh, while in dungeons, goblins supposedly appear in pairs. So we get double the goblins in dungeons. So that's going to be really cool. So basically we get a bunch of shrines to pop and summon all these goblins. And then in dungeons, we get double the goblins, which is really, really cool. Um, and then Mother's Blessing Anniversary Edition. We've had this in the past, guys. You guys already know what Mother's Blessing is. If you don't, um, during the event, it will last 10 days in total. You get 25 bonus EXP and gold, 50%. And yes, this is multiplicative. So if you guys are low on gold like I am and got 40 million to your name, then this is the time to really grind and maximize how much gold you're going to get for these 10 days. So I'm very, very excited about this. The bonus will also stack with elixirs and urn of aggression when you kill monsters, etc. So this is a really, really cool event. So let's uh, let's go down. Oh, that's all Diablo Immortal stuff. So this is this is pretty cool, man. I really like this. Um, the Mother's Blessing thing they've done twice now. This will be the third time. But I do like the increase in the uh, goblins, which is really cool. And then the cosmetics. What's wrong with free cosmetics? I really like that. I'm really curious to see... Uh, what else is in these greater treasure bags? So, yeah, guys, that is all the up-to-date news. And I'm so excited about the event, but I'm more excited about these changes with Sork. And we're actually going to go test this out right now. So, if you guys are watching this video, I'm probably live. Swing by the YouTube channel or Twitch. 
like the video, guys. Let's get this over 50 likes. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these bug fixes, especially on Sork. Comment. Do all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.